This is Fitness Blender's Caveman Workout. In this workout routine, we're going to be doing one round of six different exercises. Now you are going to need a piece of equipment, so grab a dumbbell, a kettlebell, or something as simple as a rock. Now for this routine, it's a good idea to do a warm-up, though you might not need to do something as drastic as I did, which was the four-mile hike with 1,800 feet of elevation gain and 20 pounds of camera equipment on my back. And that's a big thank you to my wife, Kelly. So without any more complaining, let's go ahead and get started with our first exercise, the staggered hand push-up. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. You're going to start with your left hand, fingers facing forward away from you, your right hand down by your hip with your fingers facing back behind you just a little bit. And then do just a regular push-up motion. Keep that back nice and flat, those hips level, feet spread just a little bit apart, about shoulder width or so. Go ahead and switch those positions so that right hand's going to come up in front, fingers facing forward, that left hand is now back behind you, about hip level, fingers facing back behind you. Same exact motion applies for that regular push-up. Try to get down as low as you possibly can. Try to keep those shoulders straight across. Try to keep those hips straight across. And go ahead and let it relax. Let's move on to the next exercise, the ventral raise. Now you're going to need some kind of weighted object for this one, and I use just a regular rock that I found by the side of the trail. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Bend straight over from those hips. Keep those legs almost completely straight. A little bit of a bend is okay. The main thing you want to focus on is keeping that back perfectly flat from your hip all the way to your shoulder. You want that back completely flat. That motion through those arms is just right underneath that shoulder to straight up above your head. Try to get your arms as level with the rest of your body as you can. Then nice and slow, let it drop back down. Make sure you're not swinging that rock. You want just a nice, slow, fluid motion. Now as those arms and shoulders start getting tired, you're going to want to start trying to shrug your shoulders up towards your ears as you lift those arms. Try to control those shoulders as much as you can, pulling those shoulder blades down on your back, getting those shoulders down away from your ears as much as you can through that whole motion. Almost done, just two more repetitions. Nice slow fluid motion. Slowly back down and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the single arm pullovers. Go ahead and lay down flat on your back for this one. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, starting flat on your back with that right hand extended directly above your shoulder. It's nice and slow, lift that rock up off the ground, go straight up over that top of that shoulder, then nice and slow, let it drop back down towards the ground, keeping just a little bit of a hover underneath that hand before you bring it right back up. Now it's really easy to try to choose a weight that's too heavy that you can't control, you can't get a full range of motion on, so make sure you pick a weight that's actually light enough that you can comfortably get a full range of motion out of that shoulder. You want to train that entire range of motion, not just the small range of motion that you're strongest. And just two more repetitions and we're going to switch sides. Slowly let that arm back down and switch that rock off onto the other hand and start again. This time with that left hand, nice and slow, same exact motion, bring it right up above that shoulder, nice and slow back down as far to the ground as you can without touching and nice and slow back up again. Now keep in mind that as you come back up, if you bring that hand over past your shoulder, then you're actually going to stop using the muscles that you're supposed to be using and start switching on to a different muscle group. So make sure that you stop right above that shoulder, don't go any further past that. Just two more repetitions. And here's your last one right here, nice and slow back down. And let it relax. All right, let's go move on to the next one, the single arm swings. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Now just like a regular kettlebell swing, you're gonna be holding onto that rock with one hand, nice and slow, swing it underneath your legs, then pop it back up using your legs to drive that weight up getting it up to just above your shoulder height, then nice and slow, letting it drop back down with gravity. Now, as soon as that rock comes back down, kind of absorb that momentum with those legs, and then pop those legs right back up again, pushing that momentum back in the opposite direction, bringing that rock back up to shoulder height. Go 
Just a couple more repetitions. And go ahead and switch hands. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Try to jump back into it as quickly as you possibly can. Get back into that nice even momentum, that nice even pace. Now anytime you're doing a swing motion like this, you wanna really, really be careful not to let your back around. As that rock comes down or that kettlebell comes down in between those legs, it's gonna to wanna to pull your shoulders forward. And you need to make sure that you're really keeping that back nice and tight to make sure that back stays completely flat from shoulder to hip. Just a couple more repetitions. And let it relax. All right, go ahead and drop that weight off to the side. We're gonna to move to our next exercise, the mountain burpees. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Now this is a cross between a mountain climber and burpees. So you're gonna drop down to the ground, do five repetitions of a regular mountain climber, and then you're gonna stand up like you would for a burpee, then drop right back down into those mountain climbers. Now the reason why we're doing an odd number of leg motions on those mountain climbers is because every single time we come back down, you wanna start with the opposite leg forward. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, and up, other leg forward, and one, two, three, four, five, and up, back to the original leg, one, two, three, four, five. Just keep that motion going, cycling back and forth. Just, you're gonna to have to be aware of which leg you're starting with, which leg you kick back first. And go ahead and let it relax. Let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the side plank toe touches. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Coming up on a side plank on your left side first. You're nice and slow. Bring your right leg forward towards your right hand. Keep that right hand about a 90 degree angle off of your chest. So you're trying to get that leg up there, keeping it completely straight without moving that hand down to your toe. Now it's gonna to wanna to go down there a little bit. You're gonna have a little bit of a tendency to wanna to drop that hand to meet that foot, but try to keep it up as high as you can and make that leg come up to meet that hand. Go ahead and switch sides. We're gonna start on that right side this time with that left leg coming up to meet that left hand. Again, try to keep that leg as straight as you can and that arm as close to a 90 degree angle off of your chest as you can the entire time. Almost done, keep it up, just two more repetitions. And let it relax. All right, good job, you just finished Fitness Blenders Caveman Workout.